Our next guest makes fashion-inspired speakers. They do it out of San Francisco and back in the USA, as a matter of fact. They're affordable and offer some high-quality audio. And what's really cool about this, especially the fact that we do a three-camera shoot of all the radio interviews here at IFA, you can see them even though they're called nude audio. <laughs> he is, in fact, the chief creative officer for nude audio, Peter Rearing Chakala. Peter, welcome into tomorrow. How are you? Hi, very well. Thanks a lot, Dave. How are you? It's a pleasure to have you with us. Um, is, your background is not necessarily in audio, I understand, but yet you've got a company going that's doing some really cool things in audio. Well, I've been working in the audio category for about 10 years now. Yeah. Um, but also, um, that's something that I've been sort of like realizing on the side as, a, as, a, as an interest. Um, what I mainly was doing is I was working for a um, design consultancy called IDEO where uh, it's sort of like the leading design consultancy, the McKinsey of you know, des design consultancies, and was helping uh, Fortune 500 companies to um, develop their brand strategy and design strategy for, oh. for new marketplaces and new products. Cool. So thus the chief creative officer title is that you are creating these cool new products. Tell us about them. What is it that Nude Audio is doing? So the, um, the thing that we should, I guess that frames it up in the beginning the best, is um, looking at the marketplace. Like the portable speakers marketplace has developed over the past you know, couple of years and there are two trends going on that are interesting to observe. The first trend is that the marketplace is filled with products that are not sold as technology value propositions, but rather uh, they are lifestyle value propositions. Oh, so right. that's something that's happened that we've seen happen, you know, years before in the headphone space, where you know the likes of Sony and Philips were, you know, pretty much blown out of the water by Urban Ears and Skullcandy and Beats and these guys who are not selling, um, you know, technology as a forefronted value. But even though I wouldn't spend the money on Beats if if they were the last pair of headphones on the planet, but that but I digress. Uh, <laughs> the point is, I see what you're saying is how these other companies just sort of jumped in and literally took over that yeah. particular space, if you will. Right? So because because these products are, and that's where where fashion comes in as as the sort of like as the al alignment. These are products that people wear exterior, you know, while they're out and about. Sure. And in that sense, it's about you know, prestige it's in some cases. It's yeah. part of you know people expressing their values and their opinions, you know, in everything that people see on yeah. them. And it's uh, beyond the handbag and beyond, you know, the, the wallet and sneakers into products like headphones and other fashion objects that, you know, tr transform that marketplace. And we see a similar thing happening um, with, the with, with portable speakers, that yeah. they are, um, there, there, there many of them are sold as technology objects, but there is a, there is a new trend happening where um, speakers are, you know, expression of people identities, and that that's how they become fashion objects. Sure. Well, give me an idea then for nude audio, some of the fashion objects that you are showing here at IFA and the Showstoppers press event. Tell me about these speakers. So the. Um, this, looks, this one looks like soap on a rope, almost. Well, I mean, the way, <laughs> the, the kind of, uh, of little, uh, like, handle it has. And yet, they're very cool little speakers. And they feel nice. Yeah, so the, from, from a design perspective, we wanted to create something that really supports the portability and that, you know, emphasizes the fact that you can just grab them and throw them in your back. You are, you know, you, you can be certain that the rubber, you know, protects the speaker from light shock and uh, that you can just sort of like you know, freely you know, move them around. And that is true for the materials that we, or the, the materials that we choose um, are supporting that as well as the shape itself, that mm -hmm. we you know, ha don't have any you know, sharp corners, that it's an object that's almost like a pebble in your hand that yeah. you know, doesn't have you know, very much direction, but rather something that you might almost you know, want to throw over to your friend rather and than... Like the one I'm holding up on camera now that Chris is showing us, uh, the S-Wired, uh, nude audio speaker has uh, a little eighth inch plug that you can then plug into uh, your portable device and play the the music what have you from this speaker which is no doubt much better quality than just your typical smartphone or tablet would right. produce. Exactly. In regards to the connection we have four different models. Um, yeah we were, we were looking this one is the S uh, here's the M and uh, uh, not that I know of unless it's hiding behind something uh, what model is this one? Let's see. Uh, the L. Okay. So are we talking about like small, medium, and large? Is that what 
what these are? Yeah, let me, I mean, so for the interruption, should I quickly yeah, we grab have this? Uh, this? We have only a minute left, so right, just cool. tell me real quick about the fact that we so have USB uh, connectors even, it looks like. And yeah, so we have, I mean, we, we have some, these are both Bluetooth speakers, mm -hmm. while, you know, this, the, the Model S comes as a Bluetooth speaker, as well as a more affordable cabled speaker that then, you know, like this model, you know, can connect to, you know, any iPod or smartphone. Right. And they, what are the, the, the cost range? Are they start so and, and at this, and this go is how we are differentiating. This is probably the most important part of our, our brand position is while, you know, we see in the marketplace, we see uh, that, that there's a lot of, you know, fashion or that there's a lot of lifestyle oriented products. So the prices mo mo are? <laughs> mo many of these are really overpriced. There's a, there's a trend of over premiumization and we are delivering this product at 99 euros. Okay. Should I talk euro? The, the, uh, well, dollar, or? The dollar real quick. Um, at $99 okay. at $69 and at $39. Okay, very affordable. Do check them out at nudeaudio.com. You'll see uh, the whole line that Peter and his team are working on and being creative with. We'll link you there, too, when you hit us up at intotomorrow.com. Thanks for spending a couple of minutes with us here during the Showstoppers event at IFA. Thanks a lot, Dave. It's our pleasure. We're back with more from Berlin, Germany. I'm Dave Graveline, our 10th anniversary broadcast from IFA. Stay tuned. There's lots more to come. Thank you.